Greetings. Let's talk about royal weddings today. I recently read an article that analyzed the body language of three couples Kate and William, Meghan and Harry, and Beatrice and Dodordo. The body language experts said that William and Kate's body language as bride and groom was as flawless as it usually is, it is now more advanced due to the length of their relationship. William and Kate moved in sync because the lovers have known each other for a long time and know each other's habits well, because the wedding was preceded by almost 10 years of relationship. The expert also noted that to some extent the formal behavior of the couple on this day was a reflection of their royal status. Traditional displays of affection are rare at royal weddings. I think the wedding was carefully rehearsed, and indeed they did everything as protocol dictated. Let's move on to Meghan and Harry. On their wedding day, they had to be less tactile than usual. The lovers had to take on quite traditional roles. Harry took the traditional chivalrous stance in his uniform, extending his hand to comfort Meghan, while he introduced his bride to the world. Of course, Harry and Meghan had to follow protocol as well. As for Beatrice and Adorto, their couple dynamic speaks volumes about the young people's relaxed demeanor. Understandably, they could have behaved more freely. The expert in reading body language noted that their poses looked quite natural and even normal, in terms of moments of exchanging tenderness. Yes they looked very relaxed and were clearly having fun in a way that other royals probably wouldn't have been able to afford. Many suspected Mr. Mapelli Mosey of having a vested interest in getting the man to marry the princess, but the body language experts saw no evidence of that. I really like this couple. And I think they really love each other. What do you think? Write in the comments.